get him. I'm getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Oh. Who are you? I don't want to have to do this. Automated systems online. Don't, don't run. Darrow sequence one. It'll be much easier this one, way. One A. Preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination and chair. Begin the countdown, bastard. Mr. Darrow. <laughs> Begin countdown. Code zero zero zero. Please Confirm come out. Zero. I have to countdown. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control... panel at the top of the tower.
Pritchard. Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the manually. From up in the tower. I got it. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. 
The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. You want us to see what you see? Fine. Our humanity is threatened because technology is messing with our minds. But how can we recognize this message when we're grieving over the people you forced us to leave behind? Friends and neighbors, people we care about. Is the image of their murders the vision you want us to have? I have shown humanity the price of its complacency. The price of pride and arrogance. If people don't have the wherewithal to put aside their emotions and recognize that, I don't give a damn what vision they see. Look at everything that has happened since this technology developed. Search your heart. You know as well as I do that humanity is on a downward spiral, torn apart from within because people like you can't resist the temptation to play God with your own evolution. Can't you see why we must take the temptation away? People like me? You mean, not like you. You changed the world when you invented this technology, but your creation is leaving you behind. And as long as it's allowed to continue, mankind will use it to evolve without you. Until the father of tomorrow is known as yesterday's man. You think I am doing this for my ego? I never wanted this, any of it, but I had no choice. All of this is academic, Mr. Jensen. As long as this technology exists, men like you and me will still crave it, still do anything to have it, despite the cost to our bodies and souls. Well, today, I have set the dominoes falling to change that. I have altered the course of human history for a second time. And this time, it is setting things right. You can't have the future, so no one can, is that it? Open your eyes, Darrow. Look at what your obsession is doing to the world. When all of this is over, nothing will be left but anarchy and fear, smoldering in the ashes of burning cities. How can anything be rebuilt from that? No, that's not... that's not what I wanted. There must be something left, some hope of renewal. Because without hope, there is nothing. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining and lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. 
I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. What's real anymore? What's happening to me? They said there were no rats here, but I knew that there were. And they're everywhere! Oh, my God. 
need for you to understand! Just let me explain! No! You won't get me, Monster! You won't get me! inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. There's no one here, it's all in your head. Hiding when I need to see them. That? Oh, that was nothing. Please, let it be nothing. I don't 
Panchea's Haran project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us will trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave. Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha pod. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control Iron! Increasing glutamate, which is 132%. Sal, 
Get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can steer control! I am in control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh, shit. security in place. To access Alpha Pod, purge tertiary pods. <coughs> Contamination. I'm here! Alter the signal! Error in system. Our life is weakening. Rerouting connection. I'm regaining control. I'm a... Ah! Reroute complete. Contamination. Diagnostic error in the system. Rerouting connection. Reroute complete. Station damage. No! I'm not going to lose this. 
Warning. Electrical charge approaching critical levels. Discharge imminent. Clear the area. Welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Darrow's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself. Overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said, technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. Took me a while, but I finally see his point. How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. When faced with difficult choices, sometimes I consider human lives and suffering. But other times, my own interests were paramount. Did I always do the right thing? Or did the presence of an easy answer lead me astray? Technologies are invented to make our lives easier, not our choices. The problem comes when we forget that. Darrow understood this. 
He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain. You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage, given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in! Dr. Reed! We're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's Labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob. <laughs>